detailed strategies, trained soldiers, and the latest offensive technology, an army, in order to be fully completed, it can't avoid dog. In 600 BC, Alyattus of Lydia King won the war against the Sumerian, who at that time had reached the peak of power. The victory would be impossible without Lydian dogs, who killed and pursued a huge number of invaders. This is the first documented event of war dogs, but later they were also used by Egyptians, Greeks, Persians, and Romans, and had different duties. Fighting – to attack the enemy. Scouts – to find hidden enemies, like modern snipers. Sentries – to protect camps during the night. Detection and tracking – to locate mines. Messengers – to send messages from a camp to another, and other tasks. Modern war dogs are also known as military working dogs or canine and have the same tasks as their ancient relatives, except that they aren't sent in the front lines anymore. Before earning the MWD title, dogs are trained four to six months to learn the basic skills. Today, there are around 2,500 active dogs serving in U.S. military service, and they are non-commissioned officers, which means they are one rank higher than their handlers. So in this episode, dog breeds who were and are still the favorites of powerful militaries. Airedale Terrier Known as the king of the terriers, this dog had some roles during World War I, like carrier of medicals and food, messenger, warning the approach of enemies and identification of victims. They're intelligent and athletic dogs with great energy, stability, and good scenting skills. That's why they're used as police dogs in the British police force. During the First World War, an Airedale Terrier named Jack was charged with sending a message in the British headquarters. After finishing his mission, the enemy attacked him and unfortunately he died. The message that he sent saved all his battalion, and after his death, he was rewarded with the Victoria Cross Award for gallantry in the field. English Mastiff 2,500 years ago, English Mastiff was used in battles from Persians, Greeks, and Romans, while during the 1500s, it was used by Spanish invaders against Native Americans. These large and strong dogs were trained to kill, accompanied their owners in battlefields, and also were used as a method of torturing against indigenous tribes who'd never seen this type of dog before. The most distinctive features that made them successful war dogs are their size and courage. Despite having talents of guarding, police, and military duties, search and rescue, most of today's Mastiffs consider a life mission being a companion for their family. It's even said that Kubla Khan had a herd of 5,000 Mastiffs used for hunting and war. Such a herd would repeal every enemy in the battlefield. Boxer The ancestors of these large and brave dogs can be traced at the ancient Assyrians, earlier than 2000 BC, where they were used at war. It's been one of the first breeds ever to be used in police and military service due to its characteristics – muscular body, strong jaws, intelligence, and high energy. During World War I, Boxer was a messenger dog, pack carrier, attacker, and guard dog. The most interesting tasks of this dog during the war were the transportation of communication wires, a task that they performed very well. Boxers became famous only after the Second World War for the contribution given in the battlefield. Even to this day, these dogs are used as a police and service dog in canine units in Germany and as seeing eye, guard, and narcotics dogs in the U.S. Rottweiler At the brink of the First World War, there was a huge request for police dogs, and this has impacted the increase of interest for Rottweilers, who were hired as messengers to accept and deliver messages for searching and giving first aid to wounded soldiers, and a guard dog for announcing the approach of the enemy. Also, there are rumors that Germans used them during interrogation phases to intimidate enemies or spies. Although Rottweilers are not used to send messages anymore, they still serve as police and military dogs because of their size, strength, and resistance to finish any job they're assigned to. Doberman Pinscher Dobermans were one of the five favorite breeds of the American military forces during the Second World War. According to data, 4,000 U.S. dogs served in the Vietnam War, aside their U.S. Marine Corps colleagues. 21 of them were Doberman Pinschers, but the war experience had a negative impact and most of them were euthanized after the war ended. A very intelligent and trained Doberman named Otto was able to smell and alert the position of a machine gun nest at least 100 yards away. The Marines had time to take over and all equipment was saved. During the First World War, Germans nicknamed all war dogs as Marine Corps Tufelhunde, meaning devil dogs, because of their fighting style. 
And this is the name Doberman's got too. Labrador Retriever During the Vietnam War, Labradors were the favorite breed used as tracking dogs because of their keen smell and ability to be easily trained. The breed was part of a combat tracker team, a group consisting of four soldiers and a Labrador who was used to find American wounded soldiers, enemy patrols, and airmen allies. Today, Labradors are used in combat stress control unit to control stress levels and give support to the soldiers who were placed in war zones. A Labrador named Sadie saved the lives of thousands of soldiers in Afghanistan after detecting a bomb and was awarded a Dickin Medal from Princess Alexandra, becoming the 61st dog to receive the highest award for bravery. Black Russian Terrier After the Second World War ended, it seems that the Soviet Union needed a good military dog, so it started breeding the Black Russian Terrier by combining other breeds brought from East Germany. Known as Stalin's dog, these dogs served in Soviet missions. Their main duties as police and military dogs were detect mines and explosives, transport supplements, and pull sleds. This strong and skillful dog was independently able to accomplish all of his tasks during most difficult times. Dutch Shepherd During the Second World War, some Dutch Shepherds starved because of the lack of food while others were taken by the German military as they were previously trained to work in military forces. Even though this breed is rare, today it's used for police work on detecting bombs and narcotics, search and rescue, and as guide dogs since they're very athletic, lively, and very intelligent. Together with the Belgian Malinois and German Shepherd, they make up the trio of working dogs in the U.S. military. Belgian Malinois They've been the first dogs used by Belgian police, while their military career began during the First World War, where they served as messengers and assistants to the Red Cross. But they also helped to pull the carts of ambulances. Today, MALs are very important members of the U.S. military. They work with Navy SEALs, Delta Force, and the 75 Ranger Regiment because they're trained dogs and also great skydivers. Conan, a Belgian Malinois, was hurt during a military operation that targeted the leader of ISIS, Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi. Conan's mission succeeded, and he was awarded as a hero from the White House. German Shepherd During the Second World War, Germans used these dogs mostly as messengers, guard dogs, sentries, ammunition carriers, and on all these tasks they had a great performance. This breed was proved to be highly skilled in helping wounded soldiers. As a result, canine camps were created, where this breed trained regularly for serving the U.S. military. A German shepherd named Chips during Sicily's invasion was attacked by an Italian machine gun team. This brave dog, detached from his handler, jumped in pillbox and attacked the gunners, who were forced to surrender. Chips was awarded with three prizes, Distinguished Service Cross, Purple Heart, and Silver Heart, becoming the most decorated war dog of the Second World War. What would you do if one day your dog was called for obligatory military service? Let us know in the comments. Here are two other videos we've prepared for you. Take care.